Welcome to Game Dev. This is just going to be an addendum to episode 10 and 11 where we do texture loading. Because uh, I realized that some people, I didn't actually go over it uh, too in depth on the actual textures, that is. The code is fine, but the actual textures, not so much. So I was kind of focusing on the game development of this, but I should probably go over it regardless. So, WebGL requires you to have a texture that is a power of 2 in dimension, either X or Y. So, for example, this one would not work at all. Uh, this is, I don't know what the size of this is, it's just a random size. This is 27 pixels by 55 pixels. It has to be a power of 2 on either, so this could be 32 and this could be 128 or whatever. That's perfectly fine. Um, mine is 256 by 256, which allows for 16 tiles by 16 tiles on each side. So it's a perfect size, I enjoy it, I kind of use it for everything. Um, so that could be one issue that you could be having on this, and someone did mention that already. They were using 160 pixels by 160 pixels, which we can't use. Uh, this is due to the actual type of filtering that WebGL uses, and it doesn't actually work really well with, uh, it doesn't work at all because they do checking on it, um, with non-powers of 2. So we can add in a check for that into the code, uh, that's very doable, but I don't really want to do that because you are the developer and you're the one responsible for actually creating the images and these texture sheets, so as long as you were to specify the correct textures, that's fine. So I'm not even going to put that kind of like stupidity check in there because you're the one who's creating the code and I don't take you to be a stupid person. So another issue is that you could have a massive size texture sheet. I don't really know why you would do this, I prefer breaking them down into multiple images, but you could have a really big one and it might take a second or two to load. So we can do a check on that for... Um, so what we're going to do here is we'll create boolean loaded. Uh, we'll set it, we'll default it to false. And right here we're just going to say loaded is equal to true. And then are all loaded. And we'll create that function as well up here. Static void are all loaded. Now we're making this a static function just so we can call it from each time a texture is loaded. And we will say uh, bool loaded equal to true. And then we'll loop through all of the textures texture text in all and if text.loaded it's not loaded then we're gonna say loaded little false break and if we're loaded at the end of this so if all the textures have gone through and they are all loaded then we'll do main uh, no game dot running equal to true let's create that variable I will create it right here static boolean running set default it to false and we'll say if running uh, we're gonna go print game has not yet been initialized please buckle your patents and return okay so that'll do that and then we also want to make a check because this could be this will just get put out 10 20 50 100 thousand times so we do want to make a check for a time so we do want to check that it's loaded within a certain reasonable amount of time so i think 10 seconds is good so i'm going to use that for an example so we'll say timer dot game loop dot game time now remember this is in seconds um so we're going to say if it's greater than or equal to 10.0 i think 10 seconds is reasonable and we'll say print game could not be initialized and then we will just cancel the game loop we'll say game loop stop and return okay so this one actually run right now because the texture is all fine uh, we could force it to be false so what i'm going to do here what i'm going to do here is i'll just turn this off just to simulate what would happen if it didn't actually run that load function or it took too long to run it so you'll see it's not been initialized, please buckle the pants, and it just spits that out a bunch of times. And then finally, after 10 seconds, it should say, could not be initialized, took too long to load resource. Okay, so that's that. I'm actually just going to do something before we do this. We're actually just going to use the time variable, because I already have it. So why not 10 times 1,000? So again, it's in milliseconds, so this will just equal 10 seconds total. Um, so if I run it again, it'll do the same thing that it did before. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, I'm going to go back and change that texture back. I hope you guys learned something. And this loaded should actually be above this. I hope you guys learned something about how it works. Uh, I only made this episode because someone actually had an issue with this, so I just wanted to be sure to explain this 
uh, in depth. Be sure to check out my Patreon if you guys want the full source code to this and uh, change logs and all that from episode to episode. They're all over there if you want to get in contact with me personally uh, through Skype or what whatnot to poke me with questions. All that's located on my Patreon, you guys can check that out. Um, you don't have to support, it's just kind of optional just in case you want to support the series and keep it running. Thank you guys for watching, have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow or on Monday whenever, I don't know when this video is released, for our next episode. Take it easy.